Hi YouTube. So um, I wanted to make a quick-ish video. We'll see how long this gets, but um, I wanted to make a video about confidence and self-esteem and um, self-acceptance and self-worth and just really all of those things um, and how to portray yourself confidently and why that's so important. Um, I know I'm a nobody here on YouTube. Um, and I doubt that very many people will watch this video, but I feel like it's something important and it was kind of a revelation for me. So hopefully one person will watch this and be like, yes, and um, find some um, find some hope and some, you know, revelation as well. So um, I just wanted to kind of talk about a bunch of things and hopefully this doesn't go crazy and and you can't follow it, but um, I've just been thinking a lot lately about my portrayal of myself um, and how that affects people's perception of me and how there's like a disconnect between my portrayal of myself and who I really am. Um, and I'm pretty sure that everyone has experienced this before, you know. Um, I've always portrayed myself, I guess ever since I was about 8 or 10, um, my self, my view of myself just kind of shifted and I'm not exactly sure why, but ever since then I've just portrayed myself as a very, um, just shy, weak, um, insecure type of person. Someone that's afraid to speak up for what they believe. Someone that's afraid to ask for help. Someone that's just afraid of everything. Very nervous, shifty, um, you know, just insecure and not comfortable with meeting new people. Which is so opposite of who I am inside. Like, I'm a very capable person. I'm not trying to, you know, brag or anything like that, but at some point you just have to kind of tell yourself the freaking truth. Like, I am smart. I am capable. Like, why the heck am I portraying myself as someone that's opposite of who I am? Why am I trying to hide these beautiful traits of, within myself? Why am I portraying myself as insecure and ugly and, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so, I think for a lot of my life I just portray myself as these things and you know who wants to talk to somebody like that? Who wants to talk to somebody that's constantly insecure, constantly down on themselves, won't take a compliment? Oh, what kind of fun is that? You know, somebody that won't take risks, won't try something new because they're afraid. That's not fun. That's not somebody that other people want to be around. And that wasn't who I was. It's not like they disliked me as a person. They disliked my portrayal of me. So I hope that makes sense. But it's just kind of a huge revelation for me because I went through my life thinking, oh God, all these people hate me. You know, all these people hate me. All these people don't want to be my friend. No one's ever going to love me. They didn't hate me. They hate, they hated me my portrayal of me, my perception of me, and how much I wouldn't just respect and come to terms with who I really was. You know, I mean, it's super cliche, but they say you can't love other people until you really love yourself. It's just true, though, because what standard do you have to go by? If you don't love yourself, how do you even know what it's like to love a person? How do you even know what standard to go by? So it was just, that's a huge revelation for me. And then I just also wanted to talk about body image because for a lot of my life, you know, I was insecure about my body and, um, you know, wearing makeup and drawing attention to myself because, you know, I just didn't want other people looking at me. I didn't think I was worthy of it. You know, just like all this crazy stuff that goes through your head. Didn't want to wear, you know, things that kind of showed off my figure because I was insecure about it. 
you know, about the attention and I didn't want people to think that I was like into myself and all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, you just have to realize that phone's ringing. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, I was talking about accepting yourself. So, um, I was thinking about this, um, I was talking about not, okay, so I, I wouldn't, sorry, <laughs> so I wouldn't wear, you know, what I wanted to wear because I was insecure about my body and all of that. Um, so right now I'm trying to lose weight, I'm working out like every day and trying to make myself look better and I don't, my point is, I don't think it's wrong to try to make yourself look the best that you can to dress yourself, you know, well, look cute, put on makeup, even though I'm like not wearing makeup in this video. <laughs> and I'm like in sweats and a t-shirt. Just saying, you can be confident in anything that you're wearing, which is another video, <laughs> or another like topic, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, you should always be confident in that, but there's nothing wrong with portraying yourself as a reflection of who you are inside. And confidence, you know, is seen in your appearance of how you treat yourself and how you dress yourself, and it's a reflection of respect. And, you know, I don't know how to explain this very well, but... Just take like your room for example or something that you I don't know something that you really love like a possession whatever you're gonna take care of that thing you're gonna clean your room you're going to you know make sure there aren't stains on the carpet you're gonna you know I mean that's probably a bad example because nobody cleans their room at least I don't sorry but you're gonna like I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's your car. I don't know. Um, but you're going to treat that thing with respect. You're going to make sure that there's no scratches or stains on it. And you're really just going to take care of it because it means a lot to you. Well, this kind of goes for how you treat your body. Like, you want others' perception of you to match who you are inside. You don't want to, you don't want there to be a disconnect, you know? Um, and for most of my life, I just found that there was a huge disconnect um, because I wouldn't portray myself, you know, as having that respect. And the way that the world is, you know, we go by appearance before we get to know somebody because that's all we can really go by. You know, before you talk to somebody, all you have to go by is how you perceive them to be by their appearance. And your appearance says a lot about you. Not that you should be, you know, defining yourself by that, defining yourself by how others perceive you. However, um, it is very important and it's there's nothing wrong with dressing yourself up, making yourself look good, and really taking care of yourself because that is an expression of respect for your body. So that's kind of all that I wanted to say. I just thought it was, it helped me, so I hope it can help you and... I'm sorry this is all over the place. I don't know why I'm like so hyper and like, uh, like yeah, I'm talking so fast, but I hope this helps at least one person. Let me know in the comments below um, what you guys, um, what you guys think and tips and tricks on how you guys stay confident and stay classy and beautiful and how you respect yourself. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Bye.